What is going on, everyone? It is me again, BPG. I know I was only here yesterday, and you're probably absolutely sick of hearing my voice now. Uh, however, today I come to you with some Envoy content. I'm not going to say it's exclusive because all of us Envoys have this. Uh, some of my Envoy colleagues would have posted up some of this earlier on. Um, as the embargo was slightly earlier. However, I wanted to wait till now to be able to tell you all the information on this. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, then why not join me in this video? And today we are going to go over the initial impressions or the first impressions of the Mercs for Money team and also information on the Old Man Logan trial. Now, this is going to be the first legendary event of the year of 2024. So without further ado, let's get into the Mercs for Money, shall we? And I'm going to start with the ones that we already have in game. Uh, firstly is Deadpool. And his ISO 8 that I recommend for him is a Raider. And I also recommend to T4 his passive with his special as a luxury T4 if you really want to um this guy you're going to want to take up to probably around about gear tier 16 17 uh level 90 95 to make sure that he's actually like usable in war um he is the he will be around for a long time um because of his revive mechanic especially with some of the other members in the team um and so he is the first member we are covering and he requires the experimental formula as his centerpiece unique next up we have his daughter deathpool no surprise there i guess some of you would have seen my video before and you know one of the events coming up is called mystic mercenary so it had to be deathpool uh, there we have a lovely picture of Deathpool herself. Uh, I personally run her as a striker. That is the ISO 8 of choice for me. Um, and T4s, you're going to want to do the passive and you're going to want to do the special. That's about it. Everything else is all extra. If you want to, they're going to be luxury ones. Um, her centerpiece unique is the Miasma. So that comes at a cost obviously we've got a lot of characters that use that that are very good so we need to be aware of that when leveling these guys up now a lot of you if you already have gone on the apocalypse chase should already have her at gear tier 15, uh, 16 or 17 um if you don't i would be looking to take her at least to gear tier 17 um she however is the character on the team who is most likely to be replaced she doesn't have a lot of synergies with the team uh, outside of the reviving with deathpool or deathpool uh, deadpool sorry reviving when deathpool's around the first new member of the team is Pandapool. Uh, hopefully you have all seen Updog's video or any of your other favorite content creators. I'm going to link Updog's video down below with his exclusive reveal of Pandapool. Uh, so here is the PDA or the image of um, Pandapool. I'm personally going to make Pandapool a healer. He's got a lot of, well, they have a lot of healing kit in their um in their abilities so i am going to be putting them as a healer and t4s you're going to want in the passive you're going to want in the ultimate and you're going to want in the special now other iso 8 options that you could have with this his ultimate and special are area you know deal damage to multiple targets so you could if you wanted to have them set as a raider that would also be an option for the iso 8 and his centerpiece unique is hammer tech again a very much used up resource at the moment what with um the recent red goblin um you would have used it with spider slayer and you would have used it with the likes of gwenpool next up we have Duckan. 
yes, the data mines were correct. Dakin is the member that we were missing. Uh, this guy is amazing. Uh, his ISO 8 I would choose here for him is Raider. He, again, has a lot of... Um, Crit, extra crit damage he also has a lot of multiple target attacks and you're going to want to t4 his passive his ultimate and his special and he is using the unstable cloth as his centerpiece unique and last but not least we have old man logan he is the key member of the team you are going to want to take this man to the moon uh, there is a wonderful image of him there. And you're going to want him as a striker. I think he's very, very effective as a striker. Uh, you're going to want to put T4s into his passive, his ultimate, his special, and his basic. Um, so, yeah, you are going to want to literally take this man to the moon. And his centerpiece unique is adamantium, obviously. He, he's made of it. Now, you're going to be asking, how are we going to be getting the characters? Well, uh, the Panda Pool is probably going to come from the Black and White and Red All Over event that is going to be the fourth event of the month for this uh, for the month of May. Um, Old Man Logan is coming from a trial. On the subject of Old Man Logan's trial... Let's take a look at the key points of the trial. So it is going to come to us on the 24th of May 2024. So that is when you need to be ready for the trial. They have increased the number of difficulties. Previous trials and scourges have had 10 difficulties to them. There are now 15 difficulties. However, there is a catch. The five new difficulties are all gated by stars that's right if you want to do difficulty 11 or 12 you are going to need five yellow stars on both of the needed teams for this trial if you want to do difficulty 13 and 14 you are going to need six yellow stars on the teams needed for this trial and if you are looking to top the leaderboards with that difficulty 15, you are going to have needed to completely whale out and have seven yellow stars on the required teams. However, there is a benefit. Players will unlock Old Man Logan at four yellow stars. And to do that, you are going to have to do a run on difficulty eight and score 930,000 points, which sounds a lot. Um, we have not had confirmation whether this is with Scourges or not, uh, but difficulty eight is the marker for unlocking Old Man Logan at four yellow stars. And that is the minimum he unlocks at is four yellow stars. In this, it is completely different from how trials have been in the past. There are no shards for Old Man Logan. Instead, there is a new to upgrade token mechanic coming. That is basically going to give you a token for Old Man Logan at four yellow stars. And then an additional token to put him to five yellow stars. And six and seven and so on and so forth. The max star level you are going to be able to get logan at before the leaderboards is five stars so the only way to get that is by doing difficulty 11 plus um that will get you a maximum five star logan so whether you do d11 d12 d13 d14 or d15 the max you're going to get up front is a five star logan there will be a first run leaderboard. You are going to need 100,000 points to qualify for this. And from the looks of it, the leaderboards are not like they were before. There are going to be red stars available in the leaderboard. There are going to be tokens to take Logan up to six and seven yellow stars, respectively. There are red stars for three to seven uh, red stars. There is also a load of crimson and teal gear and I'm guessing other gear on the lower ends of the leaderboard. So there is not 
any shards like that as such on the leaderboard. The teams needed for the named nodes are going to be out of time, which we already know. And what really upset us is the U-turn that was made. And Cabal has also been named as one of the teams that is needed for this trial. Uh, you're going to also have to have Emma Frost and Loki in with the Cabal. Uh, these teams are going to come in from difficulty five. So if you want to get Old Man Logan and do that difficulty eight, you are going to need these teams worked on. And apparently the nodes are tuned to Emma and Loki. So these guys are not going to be getting any sort of reworks before this trial. They are going to be as they are. So that leads me to think that your Cabal is going to be doing the majority of the heavy lifting for the nodes. And there are going to be some upcoming trial prep events. Uh, we've had it confirmed now that Red in Tooth and Claw is going to be a trial prep event where we're going to be able to get shards for out of time and cabal there is also a new pocket dimension called temporal dimension that has been designed to be uh, for the cabal to be used in so people aren't going to feel as bad building cabal up if you wouldn't normally build your crucible teams there are packs as well for it uh, again the blog I will link below if you haven't already clicked on that to go and have a look. You can have a good look through that yourself. Um, I want to give you some final thoughts on this. I, When I first heard this in the Envoy server, I was very annoyed. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I still think this is, and I, I find it quite funny, quite not funny, but quite ironic that they have changed the way the trials are working to almost put it back to the old legendary system. I know the old legendary system, you did used to have to have five stars on the first run. And generally on the old legendaries, uh, free to play players wouldn't have been able to get the um, unlock on a character on a new legendary character on the first run. So I guess we have that as a benefit. However, I do find it ironic that Mercs for Money is the choice of trial and team that they decide to put this new gate system in of stars on characters, which unfortunately you are only going to be able to do if you have spent money on either the battle passes or anything like that. A lot of us have got uh, a lot of the members of Out of Time at four yellow stars, We've got a lot of us free to play players that is have got them at four yellow stars. We've got a lot of the uh, cabal are either three or four yellow stars. You know, we only just unlocked Iron Patriot in his event. And even though we've had a pass with him in, we're still not up to those big amount of shards. So I will say I'm not overly happy with this event i'm happy that i'm going to be able to unlock old man logan but what i'm not happy about is how wide that gap is now becoming between engaged free-to-play players and people who spend you can now be a person who spends money on the game but isn't very engaged in the game and potentially get a bigger old man logan than someone like myself who spends a fair amount of time on the game and out of the game learning the kits and everything like that i also don't like that they've gated the new difficulties because previous trials we have been able to have a bit of agency and a, a challenge almost to be able to do the trials at different levels now we are basically told we can go up to difficulty 10 but anything above that well you're going to need you know you're going to need to have opened your wallet commander um I do understand it. I know they're a business, you know, I know they are a business and they need to make money to keep this game running. Um, I just feel that this is a very bad way of doing it, um, in my honest opinion. Speaking of opinions, why not let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are on this. If you have found this content helpful, please do like the video. Consider subscribing so you know when I upload any more content. And until next time, everyone, stay positive.